Welcome back everyone to Game Change Rex. So this is six, sixth episode of Monthly Haul. Let me put this down a little bit. Um, Monthly Haul, the series in which we play PlayStation free games every month. Uh, and this is the second game that came out on June of 2017. Life is Strange. I believe this was a 2015 game. Uh, I have no idea what this game is all about. I just know that this is a story based game. Life is a strange story based game that features player's choice. The consequences of all your in game actions and decisions will impact the past, present, and future. Choose wise past, present, and future. How can you, how can you change something that has already happened? I have no idea. So, in, as you guys already know, we take a quick look at the games in this series. We don't play them end to end. She doesn't remember. Wait, there's the lighthouse. I'll be safe if I can make it there. I hope. Please let me make it there. Okay, normal buttons to move. That's a company start. Can you run? Oh no, in the storm probably running is not a good idea. And the graphics is again shell shell shaded and it's pretty good look at that storm that's a twister baby so where do we go we need to get inside there holy shit Oh, that's a boat. Whoa. Whew. That was so surreal. Famously called film Little Pieces of Time. But he could she be was sleeping about in class. As he likely was. Okay. I'm in class. Everything's cool. I am okay. From light to shadow. From color to chiaroscuro. Now can you give me an example of a photographer who perfectly captured the human condition in black and white? I didn't fall asleep, and that Anybody? sure didn't feel like a dream. Bueller? Weird. Diane Arbus. There you go, Victoria. Why Arbus? Because of her images of hopeless faces. You feel like totally haunted by the eyes of those... Look at this crap. How can I show this to Mr. Jefferson? I can hear the class laughing at me now. Bad mothers and children. Hmm. She saw humanity as tortured, right? I can't believe I still have this pencil case. I should upgrade to the 21st century. But I like it old school. I could frame any one of you in a dark corner and capture you in a moment of desperation. I haven't kept up with my journal as much as I should. Isn't that too easy? My little camera bag is battered but still kicking. What if Arbus chose to capture people at the height? Of their beauty or innocence. So this is a photography she a class. Eye. So she could have taken another approach. I, I do love my been. analog camera. I'm not a big fan of her work. I should take a quick picture I now. Robert Frank. Okay, let's take a selfie. Me too, Victoria. He captured the essence of post-war beach. I believe Max has taken what you kids call a selfie. A dumb word for a wonderful photographic tradition. And Max has a gift. Of course, as you all know, the photo portrait has been popular since the early 1800s. Your generation was not the first to use images for selfie expression. Sorry, I couldn't resist. <laughs> the point remains that the portraiture has always been a vital aspect of art and photography for as long as it's been around. Now, Max, since you've captured our interest and clearly want to join the conversation, can you please 
tell us the name of the process that gave birth to the first self-portraits. Oh. You're asking You're me? You're asking me? L let me think. She definitely mm -hmm. doesn't know. I you don't know myself. Know this or not, Max. Is there anybody here who knows their stuff? Louis Daguerre was a French painter who created daguerreotypes, a process that gave portraits a sharp reflective style like a mirror. Now you're totally stuck in the retro zone. Sad face. Very good. So that's the, that's the typical the bitch process in the class. Brought out fine detail in people's faces. <clears throat> Dugarian process. Extremely popular from the 1800s onward. The first American daguerreotype self-portrait was done by... I haven't by kept up with my journal as much as I should. If anybody else looked at this, what would they think? They think you are pretty detailed and you have a very nightly written and drawn journal. So there's a lot of stuff to read. Them in your textbook. Or even... I can't online. believe I still have... Okay, guys, don't finally the, the class is over. A photo in the Everyday Heroes contest. I'll fly out with the winner to San Francisco where you'll be feted by the art world. It's great exposure and it can kickstart a career in photography. So Stella and Alyssa, get it together. Taylor, don't hide. I'm still waiting for your entry too. And yes, Max, I see you pretending not to see me. So that's the photo she actually took to give for that. Victoria even her school books are gift wrapped. I can't believe she made fun of. Of course, Victoria has to have the bestest, newest, most exp. I should have known. She'll have better equipment than Blackwell. Five thousand three hundred dollar worth camera. Uh, I will never have something that costly. Looks like somebody was already working on this. Cool. Mm-hmm. And pretty cool work though. Let's talk to Kate. Hi, Kate. Oh. Hi, Max. No matter who wins, this is just a bump on a bigger road. You, you seem, seem quiet today. today. Just thinking too much. I also want everybody to know that this photographic world is not for everybody. I think Victoria has already won the contest, as usual. She's got nothing on you, Max. Well, I should get going. Yeah, me too. Talk to you later. Sure. So it's all typical teenager stuff in school. Huh, this mm. might make a cool shot. Let's take a photo. So, yeah, even in our schools, like when I went to school, there were already always students who knew everything before coming to the class. And basically, Every time I look at Victoria, I feel like she's talking smack about me. Uh, she probably not is not a bad person, but there are some excuse people me. who... Mr. Jefferson, can I talk to you for a moment? Yes, excuse you. No, Victoria, excuse us. I'd never let one of photography's future stars avoid handing in her picture. Do I have to? I just don't think it's that big a deal. Max. You're a better photographer than a liar. Now, I know it's a drag to hear some old dude lecture you, but life won't wait for you to play catch up. You're young, the world is yours, blah, 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 right? But you do have a gift. You have the fever to take images, to frame the world only the way you envision it. Now, all you need is the courage to share your gift with others. And that's what separates the artist from the amateur. Exactly. Very well said. So anyway, we are done here. There are photos everywhere. You can never escape the lighthouse here. Okay, that's probably the, the major landmark of the small town. Even in pictures, the forest around here always looks mysterious. Mm-hmm. Probably some kind of story. Man, he even has the best plasma HDTV for a class monitor. Can't wait to watch some more documentaries on this bad boy. You didn't tell me All right, cute let's I open it up. I was about to. Like you you always welcome to the real world. Hot. Then I might send you a special picture. Okay, typical school life. Although my school life never looked like this. Um, 
splash water on my face. And I seriously, I don't understand the problems of school kids nowadays. Um, it's like we went through school life pretty easily and pretty fast. We didn't even notice when it went by. Yeah, obviously, there there was here and there. There were douchebags. There were douchebag uh, teachers. But school was not a big deal. And in fact, it, the biggest thing about school was that it used to keep us busy throughout the day. And we all knew that we need to get through it. I don't know. Now, when I hear people talk about school, they seem to make it out to be a big deal. No, you can talk to all these guys. Don't smoke if you care. Don't pollute the air. We all deserve clean lungs. Yeah, definitely. Those are the bullies. They're bullying someone soft and bullyable. What's this? It looks like she's been gone for months. Hmm. So, one of the school students has disappeared. Stop bullying now. So, can we go and punch this bully guy? Okay, there is a poster here. Man. I wish October would last forever. There's the Halloween party. I hate bully jockstraps like Logan. And he's a Vortex Club member. Vortex Club? So, that's some big deal. So, the kind of schools I have gone to, that's the principal's office, uh, they didn't used to be this big. In fact, I, I come from uh, India and I went to a very small school and uh, there we had only classes which were like not not that, that well furnished looking at schools in america i find why the infrastructure in this country is so good so i don't know why i went to the dress room nobody can see my meltdown except for me okay haha <laughs> that The graffiti on the door was pretty nice. Just relax. Stop torturing yourself. You have a gift. Fuck it. Well, she just steers it off. When a door and that's closes, a blue a butterfly. Opens. Or something like that. Hey girl, you don't get a photo op like this every day. Take a photo of it. It's cool, Nathan. <laughs> Here's in the woman's you're, you're okay, bathroom. Bro, just count to three. Don't be scared. You own this school. If I wanted, I could blow it up. You're the boss. So what do you want? I hope you check the perimeter, as my step-ass would say. Now, let's talk business. I got nothing for you. Wrong. You got hella cash. That's my family, not me. Oh, boo-hoo, poor little rich kid. I know you've been pumping drugs and shit to kids around here. I bet your respectable family would help me out if I went to them. Man, I can see the headlines now. Leave them out of this bitch! I can tell everybody Nathan Prescott is a punk ass who begs like a little girl and talks to himself. You don't know who He's the on the fuck edge. I am or who you're messing and this girl is just Okay, what now she's doing? done for. Come on, put that thing down! Don't ever tell me what to do! I'm so sick of people trying to control me! You are going to get in hella more trouble for this than drugs. Nobody would ever even miss your punk ass, would they? Get that gun away from me, psycho! No. Now she's all scared. Just a moment back, she was almighty. 
Uh, I think that's that's general human tendency. Whoa! Right, the tragedy. What the oh, fuck? what? How? How can that be? What did I just happen? In the bathroom. He shot that poor girl. I held up my hand, and then I was back here. Likely was. These pieces of time can frame us. In I already world. heard this lecture. From light to shadow. From color. So she can time travel. And if Victoria's phone rings, this is real. Now, shit. And it does ring. Oh of shit! I cannot believe this. The human condition in black she broke her camera. Okay, if I'm crazy, Anybody? I might as well go all the way. Bueller. Can I actually reverse time? Go, so she Why can reverse this? time. Okay, we are reversing it fully to save the camera. I did it. Can you give me I an actually example did of a it. Photographer who perfectly captured the human, human time machine. Anybody? Human time machine. Bueller? Max, don't freak out. Not yet. You go, when I took Why my I selfie, see? Jefferson asked me a question. If he does again, I'll know. And we know the answer for it. A selfie. A dumb word for a wonderful photographic tradition. And Max has a gift. I know I'm not dreaming course, this. You all know, the it's real. Has been I can tell. The early 1800s. Your generation so I can go back in time. For selfie expression. What if that girl isn't dead yet? The point Can I save that her? The portraiture has always been a vital aspect of art and photography. For I need to go to the bathroom quickly and check it out. Now, Max. Okay, so since here you've the... captured our interest and clearly want to join the conversation, can you please tell us the name of the process that gave birth? We know the, the answer. We know the answer. I'm sorry. I feel sick. I feel sick. May I be excused? Nice try, Max. But you're not <laughs> no. <be> <laughs> Yeah, he knows better. Is there anybody oh, here shit. who knows their stuff? Jefferson wants to keep me what after class. And I need time to save that girl. A process oh, that shit. portraits so, a sharp reflective style like a mirror. Now you're totally no. stuck in the retro zone. Sad face. Very good, Victoria. What if I rewind again? Okay. The right so we can rewind and give him the answer. So we need to go all the way. I let it go halfway through. Now Max, since you've captured our interest and clearly want to join the conversation, can you please tell us the name of the process that gave birth to the first self-portraits? Yep, the Duguayian process. process. Invented by a French painter <laughs> named Louis No, Duguerre we need to look at how, what Victoria says. Somebody has been reading as well as posing. Nice work, Max. The <laughs> she is not happy. Hugely popular, mainly because it gave the subjects clear. Look at how features. she looks at her. You can learn more right. when you actually finish reading the assigned chapters. Max is so far way ahead of everyone. Way guys, ahead of everybody. Don't forget the deadline to submit a photo in the Everyday Heroes contest. I'll fly out with the winner to San Francisco, where you'll be feted by the art world. It's great exposure, and it can feted by the art world. So Stella and Alyssa, get it together. Taylor, don't hide. I'm still waiting for your entry too. And yes, Max, I see you pretending not to see me. So Max, as I was talking about the school and stuff, dreaming. right? So the the difference be being from the from the background in from which I come, we made something out of nothing. You, or, or don't even think oh, about shit. leaving here until we talk about your entry. I'd never let one of photography's future. Okay, we'll skip that. I'm not avoiding, just... Biding time? Waiting for the elusive right moment? Elusive exactly. right moment. Max, <laughs> don't wait too long. John Lennon once said that life is what happens while you're busy making other plans. Go on now. Don't let me stop you. Okay. L1 does the previous action rewinding. 
So why are we rewinding? Will we give the other yes. answer? Victoria, you still have to do your homework this week. Excuse me, Mr. Jefferson, can I talk to you for a moment? Yes, excuse you. No, Victoria, excuse us. I'd never let one of <laughs> photography's future star... Okay. I'm oh. on top of it. I think John Lennon once said that life is what happens while you're busy making other plans. So we Max, use that... You're on fire today. All the right answers, good. <laughs> All the Make right sure answers. finish working on it by today. I have faith in you. Uh oh, that's good. All right. So if we are, if only we could do this in the real world. Anyway, we need to run to the I bathroom. Hope I have enough time to, um, get to the bathroom. Please, please. So as I, I was talking anybody. about, they'll think I'm crazy. School and all. Um, only thing is, there is there is so much resources spent in the schooling system in the U.S. So much money, so much, so much resources overall. I didn't come from that kind of background. In in our case, resources spent for schooling for us is so little. But everyone actually made something okay, out of the schooling and colleging step. system. Okay. I washed Here my we face. are. I shredded my photo. Then the butterfly flew in. And I took a photo. Leave them out of this bitch. I can tell everybody Nathan Prescott is a punk ass who begs like a little girl and talks to himself. You don't know who the fuck I am or who you're messing around with. Where did you get that? So what, what do are we you do? doing? What do we do? Come on, put that Never. thing down. What do we do? I'm too scared to get I'm near so this psycho. Sick of people trying to control me. You are going to get No, he has a gun. For this than I should do something else. Ever even something miss else? Your punk ass, would they? Get that gun away from I me. need a hammer to break it open. Oh Holy shit. shit, I can't let this happen. If I can reverse time, Ever. I need a hammer to break it open. I'm so sick. Hammer, 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 hammer. You are going to get in hella more trouble move, for this. Move that. Drugs. Is there a hammer there? Would yes, there Ever is. Even miss your punk ass, would they? Get that gun away from me, psycho. Oh, oh shit. Shit. For this than drugs. Nobody no. would ever even miss your punk ass, would they? Get that gun away from me, psycho! Oh. Nope. We need to rewind it all the way. It'll be interesting to play with. Don't you know. Tell me what to do. Okay. I'm so Move. sick of people trying to control me. You are going to get a hell of more trouble for this than drugs. Nobody would Hammer. ever okay. miss your punk ass, would they? No way. Don't ever touch me again, freak. Yep, you only wanted to <laughs> squeeze out some money from him. Another shitty day. He is a dangerous person. That did not happen. This cannot be real. I just saw Oops. a girl get shot and then saved her. What the fuck is going on? Do Seriously, what the fuck is going out. on? Oh, shit, hey, do you hear that fire alarm? That means you should be outside. I had to use the bathroom. Girls always use that excuse. Excuse for what? For whatever you're up to. Your face is covered in guilt. The alarm <laughs> you <laughs> Your face is covered in guilt. Missy, or are you hiding something? Huh? Thank you, Mr. Madsen. The situation is under control. There's no emergency here. Leave Miss Caulfield alone and please turn off that alarm since that's your job. <laughs> He's not happy. He was having a field day just uh, scolding an uh, innocent student. Yep. He was not doing his security guy's job at all. Okay, let's talk to the principal. You look a little stressed out. Are you okay? I'm... I'm just a little worried about my future. Are you sweating pinballs? Is that all you're thinking about? You could always be up front with me, Max. Or have you done something wrong? Is that it? Well, Max, talk to me. No, she hasn't done... Okay, let's report Nathan. I just saw Nathan Prescott waving a gun around in the girls' room. Nathan Prescott. You sure? Yes, he was in the bathroom. His family owns to the school. With a gun. I saw everything. He was babbling like crazy. Okay, slow down. Slow down. So now you saw this without him seeing you. I was hiding behind a stall. 
I have the right to be there. It's the girls' room. I know, I know. I just want to be completely clear what happened. Mr. Prescott happens to be from the town's most distinguished family and one of Blackwell's most honored students. So it's hard for me to see him brandishing a weapon in the girls' bathroom. So what happened next? Then... then he left. I ran out here wondering what to do. Are you gonna bust him? This is a serious charge. I'll look into the matter personally. Thank you for bringing it to my attention. That's it? After what I told we'll you? We'll continue this discussion later in my office. Please go outside with the rest of your class now, Miss Caulfield. Of course this academic drone won't do anything since the Prescott family owns Blackwell now. Okay, so yep. We are outside and outside means probably there is a huge number of students to talk to. Yep. Alright, so this is where we end this episode. I, I kind of like this game. The only thing is I'm not too much into what teenagers think and I definitely don't share their emotions. Uh, I am a 42 years old, not 42. I make myself out to be much more older than I am. I'm a 40 year old. So obviously I have seen the world a lot more than a teenager would. And this kind of game makes me, makes me question everything that teenagers think about. Okay, so, I better get to my dorm and grab that flash drive. So I don't know if I would have enjoyed the full game, but for, for all you teenagers, this is probably a game for you. You would appreciate each of the emotions that's shared in the game. And obviously it's free this month on, oh man, look I at some. I could go for a burger now. Yep. So I could go every time I've gone now. into a school here, the, the biggest thing I liked about the school is all the artwork that has been done by the students um, basically the school is littered with them and I, I love watching artwork done by students so I leave this game right here if you guys uh, liked it please give this video a thumbs up and I will see you guys next month with another episode of monthly haul where we play free games every month that com that comes out in uh, PlayStation Plus Hope you guys liked it. Give us a thumbs up if you did. And sure to subscribe to our channel if you're new here. And I'll see you guys. Game Changer X out. Yo, Justin. Check out the max. Go for a tree flip. Let's get Trevor all over that action. Oh, ah, oh. Ooh.